Hello everyone, this is Orhan. In this video, I'm going to explain you why we need geometric average and how to calculate it. To understand the geometric average, let's start with a very basic example. Suppose you buy a stock for $100 in year one, and in year two, it went up to $200. In the third year, it came back to $100 again. So let's first calculate the returns. The return for the second year is going to be 100% and the return for the third year is going to be negative 50%. So when you take the average, it's going to be 25%. But basically you did not make any money at all. So you started with $100 and you ended up with $100. So, so your average return should be 0%. But it says 25%. So which one is correct? Is it 0% or is it 25%? Uh, well, the answer is both of them are correct. They just answer different questions. The first one is, what was your average compound return per year over this time period? The second one is what was your return in an average year over a particular period? So geometric return basically answers the question for what was your average compound return per year? Well, you see the formula below. So you first add one plus to the first return and then one plus to the second return and you multiply them all, take the root uh, and then subtract one. So to do this, let's first create a column and I'm going to call that column one plus return. For, for the second year, I'm going to add one to the return and do the same for the third year. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these two compound returns and take the square root. So let's do it here. The first compound return times the second compound return. So we ended up by 100%. And I am going to take the square root of this just because we have two returns here. So I'm going to write e4 to the power 1 over 2. Please look at the formula. In the formula, you take the square root of order n. So here we have 2. So that's why I write here uh, 1 over 2. So it's going to be 100%. And the formula at the end says subtract 1. Okay, so I'm going to subtract one, it's going to be 0%. So this 0% is going to be geometric average. I will call it geometric average. Or alternatively, you can use the built-in formula, which is geomean. To use this geomean, you have to add one to the returns and you do not need to multiply. You just like select those geomeans and subtract one. So you will basically get the same answer. Once again, geometric average is answering the question, what was your average compound return? So that's the basic difference between geometric average and normal arithmetic average. Let's go ahead and calculate the geometric average of uh, the stock prices that we calculated in the previous videos. So this is the Apple stock prices uh, for the year 2018. And we already calculated the return in the previous videos. Let's go ahead and add. So in column C, you see the returns. And in column D, I'm going to add one to those returns. Okay, so just add one. Okay, so we already calculate the average as negative 0.0003. And I'm going to calculate the geometric average right now. To calculate the geometric average, I'm going to use the geo mean. Select the column D using uh, your mouse or control shift up arrow will give the same thing. So geometric average is, so this minus one. Well, basically they are very close, but geometric average is more appropriate, especially for the cases which we are willing to calculate the average compound return. So they will be very close, uh, but there's a very tiny nuance between those two, those two averages. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next videos.